Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has given us a couple of tips to improve your PC performance on Windows 10 and Windows 11. With Microsoft saying that if your PC is running slowly, the following suggestions might help speed things up. And it's also mentioned that the tips are listed in order. So start with the first one, see if that helps, and then continue to the next one if it doesn't. Now, Microsoft has given us a couple of tips as mentioned. I can think of a lot more. I've also got a playlist um, on the channel called Speed Up Windows, and I'll leave that linked here in the end screen if you'd like some more info, because there's quite a lot of videos in there that might be, because there's quite a lot of videos in there that might be of benefit and of use. Now, getting back to Microsoft tips to improve performance, and I think some of these are quite basic, but I'm just going to go through all of them just to give you a quick overview. First of all, Microsoft says, make sure you have the latest updates for Windows and device drivers. With Microsoft saying that one of the best ways to get the most out of your PC is to make sure you have the latest version of Windows 11 installed. So you would just check for updates to get your device up to date, as you will know. And I think this could be debatable because some of the updates that have rolled out, especially for 24H2, have done quite the opposite to the OS. But nonetheless, make sure you have the latest updates for Windows and also the latest device drivers. And a lot of the drivers will appear under optional updates. So we head to advanced options and you'll see them here under optional updates if a driver update is available for your system. And here's one that I actually recommend to a lot of folks, believe it or not, as your first point of call, if you are having a glitch or a issue with your PC, is to just restart your PC. Because in a lot of, because in a lot of circumstances, that is all it needs to actually solve a, a minor issue that's taking place in the operating system. So you just hit your start menu, restart, don't shut down, restart your computer because a restart flushes the cache, dumps all your memory, and loads up your PC with basically a fresh, clean start. Then another thing you can try on older computers is to use ReadyBoost to help performance. And ReadyBoost, and I've actually posted a whole video on ReadyBoost. I posted that back about two, three years ago, how to enable ReadyBoost to speed up your Windows computer. I'll leave that linked, go check it out. But just a quick overview, Ready Boost lets you use a removable drive like a USB flash drive to improve your PC's performance without opening your PC and adding more memory RAM. Check the video out for more info, it'll be linked. Just take note though regarding Ready Boost. Ready Boost cannot be used if Windows is installed on a solid state SSD drive. And the next thing Microsoft suggests is to make sure that your system is managing the page file size. And once again, I have posted a whole video on the Windows page file, what it is, is it beneficial for performance and how to configure it. I'll leave that linked, check it out for more info, but a quick recap. If we head to our search and we type in advanced, there you get the legacy system properties menu. And if we head to the performance section, click on settings, head to advanced, yeah, you get your paging file. Make sure automatically manage paging files. Make sure automatically manage paging file size for all drives is toggled on according to Microsoft. Go check my other video out on this if you'd like much more in-depth information. And then while we are with our performance options, something you can do is you can adjust the appearance of your visual effects, such as animations and shadow effects, Microsoft says these look great, but they can also use additional system resources, which I totally agree, and can slow down your PC, especially if you're running a low-budget PC or an older PC. So yeah, you would just click on Adjust for Best Performance, click on Apply, and basically it'll uncheck all of these boxes, but I like to customize these, so you can just pause the video if you'd like to copy what I've got. I find this is a nice balance between visual effects and performance. And while we are talking about visual effects, if you head into your settings, accessibility, visual effects, you can also turn off 
transparency effects and animation effects if you so wish. You can also check for load disk space and free up disk space. And what you can do here is you head to your system, head over to storage, and you can use the storage sense. You can use storage sense to delete unnecessary or temporary files from your device, which can also free up space, as you may well know. And you can also use the legacy disk cleanup utility. If you don't know where that is, just do a search for disk cleanup. And you can also obviously uninstall any apps that you may not be using or haven't used in a while by just clicking on the relevant app, the three dotted menu and clicking uninstall. And while we are talking about apps, you can disable unnecessary startup apps by heading to your apps, startup, and if you aren't using any apps on startup, just disable them. And this is a big one for slowing down your PC because when you turn on your PC, some programs start automatically, as you may well know, and run in the background. And you can disable these programs so they don't run when your PC starts. And something else you can also do is you can disable apps running in the background. Now, don't get that confused with disabling startup apps. If we head back into our apps, installed apps and i've posted a video on this it's helped a lot of people out i'll also leave it linked in the end screen you can head to advanced options and you can turn off apps that run in the background not to be confused with startup apps check the video out it'll also be linked and something else you can try according to microsoft is you can check for and remove viruses and malware so if you're running um, Microsoft Defender, you just head to Virus and Threat Protection and you can run a scan. And you've got different scan options for quick scan, custom, full scan, and so on. And the last one Microsoft recommends, so they've given us 10 options. You can restore your PC from a system restore point. So for this, you would just head to your search once again and just type in restore. And you would click on system restore and you can then click on next and you can restore your system files and settings from a previous restore point because microsoft says that restoring your pc undoes recent changes that might be causing problems and this is especially true with bad updates i also always suggest create a restore point before you update your machine because if something goes bang you can always restore it back to a previous state so guys that's 10 things microsoft says that you can try to improve your PC performance in Windows. Remember, all those videos will be linked and a playlist will be linked in the end screen if you'd like more info. I can think of a lot more options. Some of these are quite basic, but nonetheless, that's according to Microsoft. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.